earlier uh, because the, the intake was too high. We're now adding zip ties to the intake roller uh, which will give us a little bit extra reach and still us, allow us to uh, use these without, without having to cut them. Um, I think the things I'm worried about is whether um, whether we'll be able to get everything on in time and everything down to like a good version and more than that just because of the time constraint whether we haven't really had the time to test everything well and really like iron out the kinks everything's just kind of have to like get an idea, run with it, um, and then make it work. It's nearing 22 hours now, so I think today is going to be probably uh, probably a later day. This is a pretty good position to make sure we have enough uh, room to support the ball back here uh, around our shooter and not go outside our frame perimeter. Uh, so the motor is the same thing we were testing with uh, yesterday. It's going to be a sim motor. Um, one to one right onto the uh, drive shaft and just spin it really fast. <laughs> it's going to be a piece inside uh, the intake that allows us to bring the balls from the floor oh, up into the, the uh, robot itself. Yeah. The yeah. shooter tower essentially. Mm -hmm. um, so some tall pieces with bearing supports and then a cross piece um, so that we can basically make a square and have our shooter in the middle. What are you working on right now? What's the plan? Really short and we're short and technical. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 